How to set up your SSL certificate so you can validate and secure your domain. What's up guys, my name is Law and this is DIY Web Strategy Labs, the place where you can learn simple strategies and skills while sharing valuable tools and tricks that can help you earn a living online. If you wanna earn a living online, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. I'll be putting popular strategies to the test and breaking down real results daily. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's topic. So what we're going to do is take a look at this here. So what I have here is my website, DIYWebStrategy.com. And one thing that I noticed, and this is the reason why I even came up with this the idea, idea for this video, is that uh, whenever I go to the homepage, whenever I type in the domain name diywebstrategy.com and just press enter i get this um notification this error that shows up your connection is not private now if you're just somebody that happened to be using chrome i think this is only happening on uh the chrome browser right now as it is but um if you're just somebody that happened to be coming to the website you'd have to know to click this advanced link and then go, scroll down and then click proceed to diywebstrategy.com which is unsafe and then you get to the website now for some most people they may just you know not even take a second look and just exit out so what i wanted to do was show you guys the reason why you get that um this is not secure uh, not a secure domain and that warning in the very beginning. And the reason why is because you're not using an SSL uh, certificate. I use A2 hosting currently. Um, it's basically worked for me as far as a hosting service goes for all my domains, all of my websites. And I have no complaints from it. If you choose to go with a hosting service, I would recommend A2 Hosting. You could use the link in my uh, description, in the description of uh, this video. And you can uh, you know, check out some of their hosting packages. I use currently the uh, Turbo um, shared hosting package, which has been working perfectly fine for me for the last, uh, I don't know, almost a decade now, uh, maybe a little less than a decade, but I've used it with no complaints and I've really enjoyed their service because it's very easy to understand, very easy to use. Now, um, SSL certificates, they're going to cost you, um, many different prices. Now, I came straight to the services page. Uh, I, like if you want to order any services, they have uh, web hosting that uh, is in the first tab, but then they got a whole bunch of these other services here. But what we're going to do is scroll down to SSL certificates right here. And we're going to look at the different SSL certificate uh, packages that they have. So what I currently have is the rapid SSL certificate, which is 50 bucks basically. Now there's two ways you could go on ahead and, uh, set up your rapid SSL certificate. One way I have here, um, as you can see, I have it here is active currently. So that means that I've already, uh, got, got it activated. So here's one way once I click through um, the manage button for my active rapid SSL certificate, I get to this page and um, I can generate uh, my configuration here. So there's another way you can go and do that. And that's through here and uh, auto install SSL. So I'll do it this way, actually generate now. Existing CSR auto install. Let's do auto install. Okay, so it looks like the uh, SSL certificate is now active. It's currently running. 
and completely configured. So let's see. Okay, so this uh, certificate has now been installed. Let's go to the actual domain in a private window here and see if it doesn't uh, give us that error. It's gonna still give us a not secure notification in the browser. However, we should be able to get rid of that uh, error that that uh, keeps us from getting to the home page. So let's start by typing in the domain name. And we should go straight into it. Yep, but it still says that we're not secure right here, which is not good. Uh, we want it to be able to still say that we are secure. So there's a very important step here that we have to complete. Okay, one thing that we wanna do right now is to be able to back up our system. So I use Updraft Plus for backup. All of it. Okay, so this will back up all my plugins, my themes, everything. It backs everything up, and I have uh, it stored somewhere in the cloud or uh, on my uh, server. And this will take a little while, but in the meantime, we want to install this plugin that we're going to use because the first thing that we need to do now is update our URLs. And in order to update the database URLs, we need to use a uh, plugin. I mean, you don't have to use a plugin, but what I am going to do is use a plugin called uh, Better Search and Replace. And, um, or Better Search Replace. It should show up anyway. Yeah, it's. But um, you can also do, use command line or uh, there's another one called uh, Velvet Blues Update URLs, I think. And um, I have never used that. I've just used better search and replace. It's very simple to use, in my opinion. And that's all I kind of need, really. Um, so let's figure out where it is here. And settings. There it is. Okay. Let's get this done real quick. Uh, HTTP. Or no, uh, DIY. Versus HTTP S. Okay, so. Oh, all of them. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, go to the next step.
So I went ahead and I changed the general settings for WordPress address URLs and uh, the site address URLs and changed those from HTTP to HTTPS. And now I think what I have to do here is uh, clear the cache, I believe. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to install WP super cache. And clear the cache. Go to the plugin admin page. Update status. I'm going to turn the caching on. Okay, now I'm going to delete the cache. Okay, so I finally got this to work. Um, I went about this a few different ways. So uh, I had to clear the cache and then make sure that this one particular image uh, wasn't causing this particular image right here it was causing uh this to show up as not secure mainly because the image was not uh encrypted so i had to delete the image and re uh install the image and then point this image to all these the well the places where it was used before and I also was able to um, do a test. So let's make sure that this actually works. So let's go to why no padlock.com. And uh, what we're going to do is do a quick check on the site. So copy this. Oh my God, this is why I do this first because it always seems to not work. Okay, finally. All right, so add this URL. Bam, good to go. Test page. Now we're going to see if this is actually uh, secure 100%. Okay, so we should get it all green check marks here, all green. No mixed content, everything is good to go. So that's how you get the SSL certificate and make sure that your website is uh, secure. And that way when people arrive to the site, they don't get a error page or get redirected or something like that. So you want them to come straight to the page, bam, and uh, get access to everything. And then also have this lock up here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys found some value in this. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.